So, fact number one, benzodiazepines, they are only used for the short-term treatment of the initial symptoms. But you might be wondering, how do they work? How do they do that? So, first of all, it's really important to remember that GABA is inhibitory neurotransmitter and benzodiazepines, they will act in a way that interacts with this GABA. How? So, there are these GABA receptors, specifically the GABA A receptors, and it's known that the benzodiazepines, they bind to these same receptors as the GABA receptors at a different location, but somehow the binding of the benzodiazepines will facilitate the binding of the GABA to the receptors. And more likely, these receptors will open an ion channel when the GABA is present and chloride will go into the cell. Chloride is like a negative a charged ion and by entering the neurons they will have a negative charge. They will be hyperpolarized and then it will be more difficult to fire off. Another point, there are many benzodiazepines, right? So what benzodiazepine to choose to give to a patient that suffers from anxiety disorder? So, we've got, for example, Aprazola and Lorespa, but these ones, they have a problem, they are really rapidly eliminated, so there's need for multiple dosage during the day, and also, let's take into account that Lorespa is 10 times more potent than Diaspa, and Aprazola is 20 times more potent than Diaspa as well, so we might incur in excessive dosage. So, the most appropriate uh, benzodiazepine in most cases is diazepam. Why? Diazepam is a drug that does provide a rapid onset of action and also it's slowly eliminated. So, there is like a steady concentration in the bloodstream and so it's a more reliable and safe drug to use for anxiety. And before I go, let me just talk you through about some of the side effects of benzodiazepines and why it's so important it's just given for the initial treatment of anxiety. So benzodiazepines, they can lead to memory impairment and sedation. And there are actually some reports of elderly people that are thought to be shoplifting, but they were not trying to steal. It's just an effect of the benzodiazepines they are on, unfortunately. And there is also the problem of dependence. So if patients take it for more than two to four weeks, there is risk of addiction to benzodiazepine, so it's really important. There is just a short-term period of intake of benzodiazepines and also it can lead to some mood reactions, so it can worsen even any underlying disease such as depression. And that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video and let me know of any other topics you'd like me to cover. I'd love to hear from you. See you soon!